TechEdge provides gasketing and vent solutions for electromagnetic interference mitigation in large rooms and enclosures, as well as small electronics packages at the board level. Our 1000 series SuperShield gasketing, known in the industry as conductive elastomers, provides both environmental and EMI protection. It is a great choice when shielding large shielded windows from the bus bar to the frame or a large access panel by sealing the seam from dust and water intrusion while allowing for a conductive path between the window and frame, preventing unwanted noise from entering or escaping. In large enclosures or shielded rooms, air filtration is often required. Air ducts or common filters can leave your room susceptible to electromagnetic interference. Replacing a foam filter with a combination EMI and air filter can prevent these issues. Both standard and custom size shielded air filters are available to cover a wide range of sizes and configurations with both foam and all metal filtering options. The style of doors on shielded rooms, test chambers, and enclosures may vary depending on the needs. TechEdge can offer solutions for all situations. For doors that require no environmental protection, we can offer beryllium copper finger stock. The wide variety of sizes, profiles, and attachment methods make an off-the-shelf solution available. Many of these gaskets perform well in shear and are excellent choices for high cycling applications. For applications requiring an environmental seal and EMI protection, we can offer a twin seal gasket. The neoprene portion of the gasket facing outward prevents water and dust ingress, while the mesh portion on the interior grounds the door to the flange, preventing noise from passing through the door when it's closed. Server racks and the components they contain often require shielding gasketing and EMI vents. Some racks have doors on the front that are closed when the unit is functioning. These doors have seams that are susceptible to leakage when closed. Beryllium copper gasketing can help to prevent and contain the EMI from escaping the rack. These doors may be opened and closed regularly for maintenance. The spring properties and low resistivity of the fingerstock gasketing make it highly reliable over a long lifetime. The rack may also contain standard cooling fans to help regulate the heat generated by components within the assembly. TechEdge has a line of standard EMI fan vents that match mounting holes of common cooling fan sizes. These cooling fans are found mounted to the exterior of the cabinets and internally on the rack. The fans could be used to intake ambient air outside the rack or to exhaust hot internal air that is damaging to the system. On occasion, large apertures must be cut into the racks, sometimes for better airflow, other times to allow things like wires or cabling to feed through. TechEtch offers a standard size of EMI vents to suit this need. Our 8300 series quiet vent uses two layers of honeycomb with the foil seams oriented 90 degrees from each other allowing for high shielding effectiveness at a reasonable cost. If airflow is primary and shielding effectiveness is still required, a single layer honeycomb is an option. Plating can be added to increase shielding performance. If required, a through hole feature or grommets could be added into the honeycomb to allow cabling to pass through. Electronics housings such as servers typically contain many connector ports typically located on the face or the rear of the assembly. For installation or tolerance reasons, gaps exist between the connectors and the through holes. These are potential leak paths for electromagnetic interference into or out of the box. A low closure force conductive foam gasket is a great solution to help shield multiple features with one gasket. The single piece design cuts down on assembly time and the low closure force required to deflect the gasket means a thin cover plate can be used with minimal fasteners. Servers, power supplies, and other rack mount boxes are often constructed from sheet metal. As the sheets are bent and assembled together, gaps are often present where they meet. Many times, the covers are also removable to allow for access to components. The board level components can radiate noise, making sealing the gaps inherent in the sheet metal assembly critical. Beryllium copper finger stock, plated or not, is a great choice to seal these edges, providing multiple attachment methods like a clip-on or pressure sensitive adhesive. 
If deconnectors are present on the board, beryllium copper or stainless steel gasketing can, can be used to ground these to the housing and the connectors. Shielded foam or metal air filters can be used on intake ports to prevent dust or particulate from entering the assembly as the air is drawn into the system while providing EMI shielding protection. Occasionally, gasketing and assemblies may make contact with components on a printed circuit board. Boards are delicate and can be damaged if excessive force is required to compress the gasket. Fabric over foam, also known as low closure force gasketing, can be used to shield these areas without damaging components. If cooling fans are present in or out of the assembly, standard vents can help prevent emissions from escaping the box. The thickness of these often allows for installation on the interior. However, if room does not permit, they can be grounded to the exterior of the assembly. Thin fingerstock gasketing attached to one face allows for a great grounding to, to another conductive surface. Each board prevents different requirements for shielding. The board layout and component will dictate the shapes of the board level shielding. TechEtch can offer simple rectangular designs, complex shapes, and multi-cavity designs to ensure components are isolated from one another. When determining your needs for a board level shield, access to chips and other components may be deemed critical. A two-piece design with a fence and a cover that attaches and detaches without impacting the board allows for access, whether it's for testing, installation of additional pieces, or maintenance.